since I didn't get the chance to show you guys Chinatown during that time, I'm going to do so right now. Before that, I'll show you this beautiful architecture. Oh, it's so gorgeous though. All those plants. It's like, damn, how did they build this? It's look nice. Yeah, it's good for taking photo here as well. Lovely place. Oh, I think this building is like a hotel. So you can see there's a counter for it inside. I'm not sure you guys can see it, but yeah. Oh, so it's a hotel. Maybe it's a five star hotel. We're almost approaching to Chinatown. So you can see that, that decoration over there. So for today's agenda, I'm just going to cover Chinatown, daytime, Little India, daytime also. So I believe Chinatown is around here in front and it also cover on the right side. So yeah, I think as long as you can see like those decorations on top, we can assume it's like Chinatown. But further back there, like around here, maybe it's a different street. You just have to see which street you're at. Sometimes it's easy to navigate when you know which street you're at. So here is it, guys. Chinatown. You can see that one called Beats Hostel. That's the one that I'm staying at. I wouldn't recommend it. I uh, have a really bad experience, I can say. And you can see it's a mall street here. If I'm not mistaken, when I come here, there's a green moss. You can see here. I believe it's on the in front there. And as well, there's a Hindu temple. Yeah, I think this one, this is green. Hi. Right, let me take a closer look. So yeah, this is the one, the moss. And then going further in front. This one is called the name Masjid Jame. There's a different street here, Muhammad Ali land. Muhammad Ali, <laughs> named after the boxer. And there's uh, various restaurants here, mainly covering Chinese cuisine. I mean, it makes sense because you're in Chinatown, so also what you stumble here would be Chinese food. And on this Pagoda Street. So yeah, this is the Hindu temple. And that's... Uh, oh. Yeah, it's free to enter. There's no uh, entrance fee. You just have to like put your shoes or slipper outside before entering. So yeah, so like this. All right. So let's proceed heading to the front here. Let's go left here. And here's like a little marketplace where you can find cheap clothing, uh, merchandise, and so on. So yeah, I'm just going to be quiet and just show you how it looks like around here. Just want to save my energy for later. I don't want to like keep talking non-stop. But I will say something every once in a while if I spot anything that is interesting. Uh, since crowded over here, I might have to lift up a bit up here. So, give you a better view. Look at the clothing you can get over here. Very, very special, I must say. Uh, it's a lot of selection. Mostly aimed to, uh, you know, Chinese traditional clothing. Okay, so there's more over here. Some restaurant here. Oh, this, yeah, there's 7 Eleven here as well. More clothing. Uh, yeah, and so much more. I'm not going to like <laughs> go each one of it, but this is what I can expect. Uh, yeah, and there's bar over here as well. So even during night time, this marketplace is so open. And they sell the same thing. Yeah. So if you see my how it's nightlife in Chinatown, it's pretty much the same over here. So the stuff that they sell, so just that this is like daytime, so you can see better. 
Yeah. Uh, what else I wanted to show you guys here in Chinatown? Mm, honestly, nothing much. Uh, I don't want to go like, explore so much because I want to spend those other time exploring in Little India. So yeah, so that's it. Oh, look at here. It's a little cute bunny. Uh, sorry. Namho Travel. So this is like a shopping mall. Old school, the buildings you can see. Wow, old school building. So yeah, it's more over here. And yeah, I don't want to show too much here in Chinatown. Hey there. If you're enjoying the video so far, please do consider giving a like and a subscribe. With that being said, let's continue with the video. Okay, so I just arrived in Little India. I have to use Grab to go here because it's, a, it's quite far from Chinatown. So let's check it out. Let's see. So yeah, this is this place. It's called Little India. Oh, it's obviously you will find like I see a lot of Indian hanging around here. It's, it's their street. Yeah, it's like in Chinatown you'll find a lot of Chinese people. Alright. Um I'm not sure where to start but I'm just going to like walk from here and see if there's anything interesting. Okay. All right. So the road here, especially the this street, is kind of hard to walk. Like is this is some sort of a shopping mall? Oh, it's a lot. Maybe, maybe we can check around here, Indian Heritage Center. Okay. So similar to Chinatown, they also have a marketplace. This way you can find a lot of Indian clothing. Oh yeah, wow, there's even a statue here. A lot of various merchandise. Cool. Yeah, so if you want to buy some cheap merchandise clothing, you can come here. It's uh, India. Somewhat crowded, it's not overly crowded, but it was it was okay. Oh this a bunch of fruit over there and sell. Oh a bunch of various fruit. Alright, see what else can we see over here? Whoa! It's pretty crowded. Okay, over here it's quite crowded already. Yikes! Let's see where we're supposed to go. Maybe you can go in front here. Sorry. Uh, yeah. What you look at that? Wow! Look at it. So many people. Okay. 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 All right. So let's go over here. I want to see. Uh, maybe maybe here later. I want to see that side in front. It would be nice if there's like a I say hanging decoration similarly to Chinatown. Okay. Sorry. Oh, it's really hard for me to like move around seriously. It's super crowded. And I mean especially during weekend, yeah. It's insane. Uh, just have to be careful of your surrounding. Hopefully there's no pickpocketing here though. Okay, okay, first. Yeah. Oh, I saw something interesting. Maybe you can walk towards here. Let's see. Money exchange. It's for fixing phone. A lot of money changer here. Okay, let me try to go in front here. Let's see what do they have. Is there like a... I think it's like a food court. Whoa! No. Damn, that bird was <laughs> close to my head. Oh my gosh. Man. 
So I think this is like a, this is a food court, but I don't see any like hawker store or anything. Maybe I have to go in front. What else? What else can I see? Oh yeah, so they're selling food over there. <laughs> Juice. Which I got masala tea, masala. Oh, Indian cuisine here. Oh, so here mostly. I think here can find some fair place of restaurant and hawker store. Like food, you can buy something cheap. The street food. And let's see. Where else? Okay, so here it's nothing. We can go straight here. Very narrow the road. Oh, okay. So this temple here. It's the uh, entrance fee. Oh, I think it's free for to enter. But yeah, it's a temple here. Oh, I thought I spot another temple. Oh, look at that. Mm, that design. Especially the one on the top there. Ticket back. Wait, oh no, not ticket, temple back gate. Oh, so that's the back entrance. Okay. What else can we see here? Uh, okay, nothing much. But I'm not mistaken, a lot of the budget hostel is located uh, in, in Little India. Chinatown, there is some, but things, a lot of, a lot of it uh, quite pricey. But most of the budget hostel can find located in Little India. This is the Hindu temple. What is it called? Sri. Sorry. Sri Ver. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. So long. So yeah, it's the temple. And let's see. Okay, it's kind of hard for me to get by. But yeah, this is like free entrance. You have to go. Yeah, this is how it looks like. What is there in front? There's so much people. I don't know what. Much, I think it's phone. A cell phone. Wow, so many people queuing up just to buy phone. I, I guess so, because there's Oppo and Vivo there. So yeah, <laughs> logo. And there's more over this side. Office space for rent. Is this for like phone? Because I see there's a lot of like phone brand. So yeah. Oh, super crowded over here. I guess we're gonna try to go over that side using the traffic. I guess we can cross over here. Wow, it's durian here. Coconut, oh fresh coconut for two dollar, man, that's, that's cheap, yeah. Sometimes you can find like a nice street food around this like alleyway. Oh. Yeah, there's some street food around here. Nice, nice. Oh, I don't even know what they sell over there. So many people. I think this this street, I mean this alleyway especially, is a bit. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna mention it, but yeah. Going. I'm not sure what road is this. I think you guys can give look. Uh, check here, Lembu Road. So there's like a shopping mall. It's called Mustafa Center. Uh, I think I saw some picture how it looked like inside. Uh, it's just like your typical ordinary shopping mall. I mean, like a lot of the shopping mall look the same. So I'm not going to bother covering. But yeah, if you you know wanted to go to the shopping mall, you can find it here. It's called Mustafa Center. Ananda Bhavan Vegetarian. Oh, so there's a lot, a lot of vegetarian restaurant you can find here. So this place is 
very good if you are a vegan. Yeah, you can find a lot of pure vegan place. Oh, it's a lot, a lot, a lot more here. So I found one, Royal India Hotel. Not sure how much that costs, but normally hotel here is quite expensive. So I think we can go in front here. And let's see. Oh, the fish. Fish head curry is 35. <laughs> and just for the head alone, 35. I think that's pretty much it. You just have to explore by your own, just to see. I just got, uh, letting you see how it looked like. Just like a glimpse of how Little India looked like. So yeah, um, with that, I think I'm just going to end here and try to find some nice restaurant. Maybe just find, uh, eat something simple or I don't know, maybe brownie. You see the price. Try to find something that's a bit affordable. But yeah, there's a lot, a lot of options you can find here when it comes to food. So we're going to try a restaurant called Komala Villas. Like the Google review there mentions uh, one of the best places to have Indian food. So yeah, we'll see how it is. So this is a vegetarian restaurant. So this is the menu that they have. Just going to go through it quickly, just to show you guys what do they have. Light meal, they got dosa here, plain and various type of dosa. They have rawa dosa and so much more snack. And what else? Got breads, side dishes, and I think that's pretty much it. They got. Pu Lao, I think that's how you pronounce it. And from here behind is the dessert and the drink. Oh, we've got the sweet lassi, mango lassi. Masala tea. Oh, nice. This is the meal that I ordered. It's called Andra meal. So yeah, it's quite a lot. I don't know what is the name of it, but so much more. So yeah, you guys can see it and there's a lot of sauce. And then this one is the chapati meal. Contain four sauce as well. I think it's the same as mine. Yeah, I think it's the same as mine. Except I got this one. It's some sort of a yogurt. No? And then we have this butter, called ghee. Oh, uh, yeah, this thing. So yeah, I can, let's try it out. I'm going to start with the Andhra meal. There's so much to... So, I don't know what to begin. I guess we'll start with this one, the bean one. Not too spicy. Um, in terms of like how salty or anything. Uh, it was well, it's well balanced. So I'm currently eating this one. It's like a cauliflower. I think like a coffee Manchurian, but it's not like a fry one. You can taste like the spices because uh, Indian food focus heavily on spices. Yeah. You can try it. And they have a lot of uh, sauce as well, like so many. On top of that, you have like this, this soup based sauce. Yeah. It's got like a much more thicker, dry one, and a bit of wet. Oh, what is powder? It's like a, like a cheese. Cheese powder. This one, yeah, I'm referring to and mixing along with the ghee. <laughs> okay. Now oh, I'm going to my nose. Powder. Oh, yeah, okay. You have that cheesy, cheesy flavor. Nevertheless, it tastes good. And it's worth it for the price. I want to, one last thing. Sweet lassi. It's quite small, but. We'll see how it tastes. Hmm, creamy. Yeah, it basically tastes like yogurt. It's very, very nice. If you like yogurt drink. Oh, this is very, very pretty. It's nice to take photo shoot here as well. Just going to walk slowly. I'll give you guys. 
how it look like. If you made it this far, I would like to thank you for watching till the end. If you enjoy this type of content, a subscribe to the channel will be appreciated. If you want to support the channel, you can do so with just a dollar or any amount via Patreon. There will be exclusive reward for those that support me through there. Thank you again and I hope to see you in the next video.